Visco. Hello everyone, welcome to Visco. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure entrance and exit solution on the Hack Vision software, Hack Central Professional, or we call it HCP. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be using a few a few items. Okay, first is this camera. This is an AMPR camera, TCG205, and followed by a barricade. This is also the Hack Vision barricade. This is the TMG4B0, which comes in uh, a few variants. Okay, and lastly, I'm also going to be using this uh, outdoor LED, okay, which is TVL224 2 row. Okay. So first, we are going to configure the camera, okay? So this camera, I've already uh, assigned an IP address. So first, I will log in the camera. Once you've already logged in the camera, first thing first, you have to check the firmware. Always have to make sure that the firmware is uh, is the specific to the country that you come from. In my case, I'm in the area of Asia Pacific. So my firmware, I've already upgraded to the Asia Pacific version. So this is very important that you have to upgrade uh, this uh, firmware according to the country of uh, your location. So next we are going to do is we are going to go to application mode there are a few settings here that we uh, we can change so for the trigger type this one i'm going to be using video detection since i'm uh, since i don't have any uh, trigger radar but if you have any trigger radar to do the detecting you can also use this I hope you will be using this option uh, io coin so next for the picture type I'm going to be using a scene picture plus close up picture, which means when I capture, I will have two pictures. Next, this one is all uh, standard default, so we are not going to touch it. Another one is this one. This is also one of the very important part, which is the drawing of the area. So I will click on this draw line. I will move it here. Let me draw the line. So this is the left border. This is the right border. And this is going to be the trigger line. In this case, I've already finished drawing my trigger line. So I will scroll down and click OK and then save this setting. Once uh, my part on the drawing is done, I will go to next. This one is the entrance and exit. So actually, if this camera, you're just going to use it uh, on standalone mode, you can actually use the control mode by camera, which means all the management will be done by camera. And then you can also add the allow list here. But since today's video, I'm in today's video, I'm going to be using a uh, central professional to manage this uh, entrance and exit solution. So I'm going to be using by platform, which is this one. Okay. So I select by platform, and for my barrier gate, actually I've already already wired the relay one and relay two from the camera to my barrier gate. So this is the define. I'm going to define it first relay as open, second relay as close. Okay. After that, I'm going to press press on this save. Next, I will do is on this text text overlay. What this does is that uh, I'm going to be adding uh, a few words, wordings here, okay, on the overlay there because I want to get more information when I capture the picture. So mainly it's this one, plate number and also the capture time here, as you can see. Okay, press save. Then after that, you can also adjust. You see here, this is the time. You can, this is the place you can also adjust. I want to put it down here. So I'll just put it down here. And also, of course, you have to check make sure that the time is uh, correct to your current time okay let's save again after that for this one since this is going to be capturing the plate so you have to make sure that you have the sd card inside the the camera itself so go onto storage here i already put the sd card and you can manage the quota okay actually this one they can support uh, video capturing and also uh, picture capturing in this case i'm going to be using 100 percent capture just on the picture itself so I'm going to put 100 here and then press save. You can see that the quota is all 100% on capture only. If you are going to be using, you want to use it as a video recording as well, you can set the schedule here. So other than that, basically our camera configuration is uh, already done okay next we are going to configure this outdoor display which is this uh, item right here this process is actually to initialize the display so that it can be managed by the hcp so first we are going to be using uh, this tool okay you can get it you can search it led test tool version 2.1 as you can see here led test tool this is the tool that you are going to be downloading and installing okay so okay. up here you can also see there's one how to this will be the guide Okay, I will open this guide. So now actually I've already installed the tools. The tools is this one. Okay, by default, the display will be .1.99. Okay, you just press search and actually they will they will search your item. But for mine, I've already changed it to zero. So to connect to this item, how do you connect? So first you have to change it to TCP IP right here and then press on this one. Press on config. 
and then connect it once you're connect connected to it here is where you can change the IP address okay so if initially is dot one dot ninety nine you just change to whatever IP you want after you you change it just press it set setting here it will save the thing okay so next according to this uh this this thing guide here you can see for mine mine is a two row model so i have to set accordingly following this one so here i already actually set 6432 and then you just press the setting and then here also make sure to set to not store okay press setting okay and also this one is low low setting to to save it okay and for this one you'll be using 18 and then 88 right here okay Again, I, in general, RGB and 808. Okay, so this is correct. Press setting. Once it's complete, you have already complete setting here. You can go to this display. And actually, you can type some word here. Okay, once you type some word, you can use this add message to actually push to your push to your device. And then you can look take a look at the hardware itself. It should be able to display the wording. Okay, that means that this uh, display is now online. Okay. So now we are going to add all the devices that we have just configured inside this HCP software. So for this HCP software, you can actually uh, download uh, online. Okay, you can look for it, Hack Central Professional. And once you download it, you can you can key in the license that you have already acquired. Okay, so for my part, I've already key in the license that uh, I buy. So now I will log in to my HCP. Okay, so this is my HCP. So first thing first, I have to add the devices. Go to device under decoding here. Yeah, and sorry, encoding. Okay, here I'm going to add my camera using just now my camera here. So, device name, device name would be score um, MPR password. Okay, now I will just click add. Okay, as you can see here that my MPR is already online. Next, I'm going to be adding is the display that I've already configured just now. Under here, display screen, the IP address is this one I've already configured. Let's go display. Okay, the model will be two row. Okay, since mine is a two row, then just press add. Okay, you can see here it's online and this one is also online. Okay, so for the next step, we are going to go to the license. Okay, my license here. As you can see, this is the license that I already have. So for this part, I have one AMPR camera that I have to add inside this license to bind this camera to the AMPR function. Okay, press on the this thing and then shift it to the right and press save so now you can see that i already binded my EMPR camera to the EMPR license channel okay so now i can use the EMPR license okay so for the next step we are going to set up a parking lot okay you have to look for this item we call it parking lot you can also look it right here or you can find it inside here passing management they will have one parking lot here so go to this parking lot go under parking lot management okay so this we are here we are going to create one parking lot which means this is like a a system a management uh, system uh, for your for your EMPR camera okay so first i'll create this is uh scope parking lot okay capacity i will just uh, put any any number okay this one will be depending on the how many numbers of parking lot do you have inside this uh this system so you can set from one to uh ten thousand so i'm um, just going to set any okay number of entrance exists one i'll just create add i already set up a new parking lot so here i will go into setting to configure my all my devices so here you can see this parking lot you will see the different things that i can i can manage i can configure so first is this one that already we have already set just now for the parking spaces and next is the rule for the rule this one is actually the default rule the suggested rule that already is really the really default set which means for all the different types of vehicles, okay, they will have a specific rule for entrance and exit. Like let's say temporary vehicle. Temporary vehicle will mean that uh, if you are using this mode, which means any vehicle that is not registered inside this system will be called temporary vehicle. So in that case, the entry method and also the exit method will be manual. Which means upon detecting uh, this uh, these uh, number plates, the the barrier gate will not open automatically. Which means uh, the the person in charge there will have to open the gate lah. okay and as for register of course it will be automatic lah. so these are the rules if you want to change you can just press edit okay and change it right here okay, so in this case i'm not going to change okay now i will go to this one so now i have one default entrance exit this one i will add so this one will be my entry point and this is a it's an entrance entrance type of lane 
Okay, my, my library should be from the all day. So now I will link my device. This is where I add my devices to this software. Okay, so I will link. First is my capture unit, which is my camera here. Next is my display screen, which is the display that I've already added to some. If you are using some other devices to manage the barrier gate, you can also uh, click on here. But for now, I'm going to be using the camera. Press OK. okay as you can see, I've already added two. Okay, one is my EMPR camera just now, and another one will be my Visco display, which is the display just now. Okay, and since my barrier gate is actually uh, wired to the camera's relay, so here this camera will also I will set it as the barrier control unit, which means this is the item that will be controlling the barrier. And next, I will be adding this uh, camera. This is the camera that will be used to capture the picture whenever there is any vehicles passing by. So in this case, I will be using the same camera as the camera that I used to detect the number plate because it's uh, easier that way. Next, this one will be all uh, manual, which means, uh, I mean, this one will be the rules that we, we said just now. Under the general, they actually have all the preset rules, okay? If you just leave it as usual, they will just apply the same rule as the parking lot, which is the general rule. But if, let's say, for this, this particular entrance, you want to have a specific rule, let's say for this one, if I want to have a specific rule, I can just tick here. I can and then edit it. Let's say how to open barrier. I want it set it to automatic and then all day. Okay, the rest I will just pick, put it as parking lot normal. Okay, and then you click add. Okay, now you already configured your your entrance. If you have an exit, you have to configure another one. For mine, I'm going only going to be using one point. Next, you are going to be uh, we are going to be configuring the display. Okay, so for the display, I can click right here. Okay go to this physical display okay, here actually you can set this uh, display to trigger on all the different types of vehicle okay let's say like you have temporary vehicle you need uh, one set of rule for the for the vehicle for the registered vehicle you need one set of rule you can set it all this separately okay in my case i'm just going to be using all which means uh, any vehicle that come come through will be subjected to this rule so we have two two first two two rules first is when the vehicles are detected how is the display going to 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 respond okay the second one will be when there's no vehicle which means the thing just just idle okay for this idle one i'm going to put welcome and below here i'm going to put visco you can also uh, adjust accordingly which color you want okay right here you can change it let say you want to put it like this it's all up to you okay we have uh, the different types of color and you also you can use it to scroll left scroll right or maybe you want to put it static also can this is all fully customizable it's all up to you so now for this one when vehicle is detected i want it to display the vehicle okay so this one i'm going to put this one no need okay i'm going to put down here okay so down here with license plate here i want to put welcome and some yellow this one also be yellow once you're done setting it okay just scroll down and click save now you have already successfully set the display all right now for the last part we are going once we have already successfully set the parking lot we have already finished configuring this parking lot okay so for the last part we are going to go to vehicle right here okay you can also search it under here wait a second yeah under basic management vehicle on this vehicle is where you are going to be adding all the cars that will be considered under registered number plate here okay so in this case, it's uh, very straightforward. Just add uh, which number you want. Okay, I'm going to be add some. This one I'm not going to touch. If you want to extend the effective period or you want to decrease, you can also adjust it here. Okay, after that, I'm going to bind this uh, this number plate to this parking lot, which means this plate will be subjected to the rules uh, to the rules and management, which is uh, defined by me in this parking lot, which is the one that I already said just now. Okay. And the effective period, uh, you can also adjust according to your liking. Okay, I will just add. Now already added one, I will add another. Okay. Okay. So this one is the same. Repeat in process. Okay. Then just click. Add. Okay. So for now, I already successfully added two vehicles inside this uh, registered vehicle. So now let's get to testing. Okay, so for the testing process, I'm going to be using uh, another 
Since this is the web client, actually when you install Click Central, High Central Professional, that comes with a few different clients. Okay, mainly we have the web client, this is where, which is where you do your configuration. And actually we also have another one, we call it the High Central Control Client. Okay, so this is the place where you are going to be uh, using it mainly for monitoring. So for this one, make sure that you link this one to your to your to your server IP address. In this case, since my high central professional is installed on my PC, since so I'm going to be using my PC uh, server address. So log into your PCP. Okay. So here we are going to go to uh, parking lot right here. Actually, this one they have a few different uh, different type. We have a uh, monitor at both, which means you can just monitor any one entrance at one time, or if you are, you are going to be monitoring at the center. Okay. You can choose this monitor and center. And they will they will be able to monitor one whole parking lot, which is which is the the one whole system. So in this case, I'm just going to be using the booth. So for this one, we are you will be able to see if uh just now because just now I already tested. Okay, if you scan the number plate here, you will come up with all the information. Okay, you can see it right here. Okay, you can see it right here. This is the the cars that I try to simulate. Okay, this one, this vehicle is uh, goes under registered vehicle, which means it is the vehicle that I added just now, WC2465 okay, H. So this is the vehicle that I've already uh, tested just now. So now this one, how to open barrier is allowed, it's automatic. And you can see here, this is the number plate and also the capture time. It will be right here. So this is allowed, which means the barrier gate will be open. Uh. And also we also have some other uh, vehicles. As you can see right here. Okay. Here. Okay. So this one they showed uh, vehicle entered because for for this one actually I have set for this parking lot the default rule for this one is uh, no repeated entry, which means once the car ent enter, they must uh, exit before they can enter again. So this is what makes sense. But in this case, since I'm going, uh, I'm only doing the testing and I have only a uh, one entrance. So. Uh, that's why they will show this vehicle entered so the, the status will be not allowed so they will not uh, allow your your barrier gate to open uh. so this is how you you see it so this is how you can you can manage it okay also of course you really you also have this uh, barrier control right here you can use it to open the barrier and close the barrier which means control is all right here so once you have really done all the uh i mean the mon monitoring okay some customer they will say that they want to see what is the 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 record let's say in one month's time what is the record record like right so you actually you can also okay just go to home go under here vehicle search using this one uh the software as well go under vehicle search okay, so now this one i'm going to be taking my data from the camera that i set just now so this is the camera time today you can also use it however you want to filter okay there are actually a lot of filter you can use Click search okay this is the plate that uh, my camera search just now so here i'm just going to export press export and take this one export picture save okay now you can see under my task center here okay this is uh downloading okay, you have to wait a while for the file to be downloaded okay so now it's already downloaded open the file okay you can see here they actually have two 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 different files okay first one is a folder which contain all the images for the plate that we captured just now and of course we have another one which is this one vehicle record this will be all the uh, record in an excel file okay, in an excel format you see right here these are the plates that enter and also these are the time that they enter and through which camera that they enter okay, it's all right here all the information and if you want to see the image you can just click right here under this image there will there's a hyperlink which means you can see directly on the image itself okay you can see it right here right here yeah okay so this is how you export the the vehicles all right so that's all for today's video okay uh, we hope that you learn a lot from this video if you feel that this video is beneficial to you uh, you can leave a like to us and also subscribe to our channel thank you see you again in the next video bye bye visco